Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk to you a bit about collagen. Collagen is actually an incredible you know, supplement and food source, and we're going to get into a bit of the reasons why. I'm going to do another video also on the uh, specific health benefits of collagen. Uh, but today, we're going to actually just talk about the basics, you know, the science explained behind collagen. So at this point, collagen is actually really prevalent you know, out on the market. I went and I looked on, on Amazon and it uh, shows up in you know the top 10 there's actually multiple different collagens in the top 10 supplements on amazon and uh you know there's a lot of awareness around it and it, that's for good reason it's it's really useful for a lot of different we reasons you also might see it outside of the supplement market but over in you know body lotions that sort of stuff um people use it for their skin collagen is actually the most abundant protein in our bodies especially type 1 collagen it's found in muscles, bones, skin, blood vessels, digestive system, and tendons. And it's basically the key component of your skin that gives it that elasticity. So um, people that have low collagen levels typically have, uh, you know, saggier skin or wrinkles and that sort of thing. So, God, you are aging so rapidly. Possible side effects, fever, severe allergic reaction, muscle and joint pain. Wait, and this can't be right. Also, when it comes to your joints and your tendons, it basically acts like a, like a glue, um, helps hold things together. So collagen is really important to you know optimize naturally and to consume from food sources. So your body, like basically as you get older because of deficiencies, people start to show signs of aging and it's actually th those signs of aging that we all think about, you know, wrinkles, saggy skin, joint pain, that sort of stuff is all actually due to lower collagen levels. So that kind of thing, you know, if you supplement with collagen, it'll help that a lot. So let's look at some of the different types of collagen and, and really what we're looking at here. So pro-collagen, it's basically in, in the Journal of Super Molecular Structure, uh, they said collagen in most tissues of higher animals and in many tissues of lower animals takes the form of a rope with a high degree of order. Like a rope, which has several levels of coiling, the collagen fibril has four structural levels, of which at least three are coils. The polypeptide chain, the molecule, and the microfibril are helical structures. The fibril may consist of a parallel or perhaps coiled microfibrils. So that's kind of a, like the structure of collagen. You want to make sure the, the coil is nice and tight. It's super abundant in animal tissues. Now, there's a lot of people that watch these videos that are vegan and pl or plant-based, and I'll, I'll try it when the, in the food source video. I'll, I'll help with that. But, you know, it's very easy to find abundant in animal. There's actually 16 types of collagen within the human body. Um, you have type 1, 2, 3, 5, 10. Most of the collagen, though, between 80 and 90% of collagen is actually just type 1, 2, or 3. Type 1 is basically accounts for 90% of the body's supply, according to, to some studies. So uh, let's look at the difference between the different types of collagens here. I mentioned a couple types. Um, we're going to look at type 1, 2, type 3, type 4, 5, and 10. All right, so like I said, type 1 is the most abundant in the body. It's basically the strongest, and um, it's made up of specific type of fibers that are called eosinophilic fibers that form you know tendons ligaments organs and your skin basically you want to definitely make sure you're not deficient in type 1 collagen because it's also found in the gi tract so it can you know heal your body in many many different ways all right type 2 collagen is uh primarily its focus is helping to build cartilage you know connective tissue cartilage so joint health really relies on the type 2 collagen now type 3 collagen is made up of uh, certain fibers that uh, make up organs and skin so for those specific purposes uh you definitely want to make sure like for, for skin type 3 is really important also it helps with the tissues like the heart tissue blood vessels um, you know, so it's really helping your circulatory system as well. Type 4 collagen basically um, helps, it's found in the endothelial cells, so it helps fo uh, form basal lamina, you know, muscles, fat, organs. Ba basically, the basal lamina is needed for nerve and uh, blood, blood vessel function. So, you know, again, we're talking about the circulatory system, we're talking about the nervous system. It also, type 4 also helps with digestive tract. All right, type 5 is a specific type of collagen that, basically uh, makes up the surface of cell as well as hair strands and tissue found in the you know woman's placenta that's again very important you see actually a lot of people talk about the benefits of uh, collagen for hair growth so it'd be the type 5 is what helps with that and then type 10 we're looking at helping with bone formation and cartilage again so it's a bit of overlap there 
So those are the main types of collagen, just kind of the basic overview of collagen where you can find it and the scientific definition of it. Subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna have some more videos on collagen in the future or you know, check out the channel that, that might be up when you're watching this. Um, I'll see you on the next video.